What is up my friends? My name is Echo and Macy and I are back on the channel today. We have some fun stuff. We got some results. We're doing some purchasing in the shop and really just getting into this upgrading of the Max Base. Let's jump into it. So as you guys can see, it's about time to claim these rewards and I have it just planned out what I'm gonna do. I know that I'm gonna be purchasing some shovels and I know that I'm gonna be purchasing, uh, I guess not purchasing anything else, maybe a couple of books along the way. Macy's gonna stick around for as long as she can, but I'll tell you what, it's not gonna be very long. She's already pretty antsy and all over the place. Do you want your pink bone, Macy? How about your chicken? No. There you go. So let's start this out right here. We're gonna get these gems. Gems are always important, especially for someone like myself who likes to use them. We're gonna go with the no. with the shovel right here. There you go, get your, not my wires, get, get your bones. Such a rambunctious little thing. We'll get her there though. We'll get her there at some point in time. She said too much G fuel, I guess. I don't know. Corny joke. We're gonna get more gems. We're gonna get two more of those shovels. We're gonna go with the potion right there, the upgrade of potion. Then we are going to go with this right here, the upgrade of a troop in the factory. And that's gonna be pretty sweet. Let's grab all these, add them to the clan castle. Check them out, Macy, as they go on in there. Oh, that's a good girl. I love you too. Some really great stuff. And now with those shovels, we're gonna be using them and moving around the Halloween obstacles. Hopefully I can figure out exactly where they go. I'm gonna probably have to do some research as Macy completely climbs behind me on the E-Wing. We'll be back in a little bit, guys, with that upgrade. One hour later. Now that Macy's gone to go take a little bit of a nap, guys, I figured we can get going and continue on with what we have going on on my base right here. We have the gem box coming down. Gonna get those gems. Thank you, Clash of Clans, for the gift as always. But not only the gems, we do have the shovels, guys. And today, we're gonna be moving along the Halloween obstacles, much like we did our Christmas trees maybe a month or so ago. So another Fun video here ahead for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you do like this stuff, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any daily Clash of Clans videos that I come out with, well, every single day. So the first thing that we're gonna do right here is what you could see ahead. We have four million gold, which means we can upgrade one piece of wall. There you go, guys. Farm these walls to max is the series, so it wouldn't be right if we had an episode without farming some walls to max. And we got one. And it's not Max, it's actually Town Hall 11. But we're getting there. Slowly but surely, it's part of the fun, guys. We are actually making some serious progress here on the base. So what I plan to do, move some things around with shovels, use some of my magic items possibly, maybe even do another piece of wall and show you some farming raids that have been being very successful for me lately. So what's going on with you guys? Let me know down in the comments below. How's your farming going? As you can see, the shovels right there. We have five and we're not even gonna need all five of them. So that's pretty exciting. We also have here the book of fighting. We have the book of spells and we have a book of heroes, but my heroes are max. So I can either sell it for 50 gems or use it in the builder's hall. To be honest, 50 gems would probably be more worth it for me. So now we have the, uh, the Halloween items and I'll tell you this. The order of them that I have is we have the hat, which is the latest, right here. Then we have the skull, which is the 2017 Halloween obstacle. Then we have the scary pumpkin, and follow that up by the cauldron. So I'm gonna try and put these in order as best as I can. And we're gonna go in the order, well, from right to left. Yeah, that should work out. So, so we're gonna move this, we're gonna use the shovel. We're gonna drag it along right next to there and we are going to go using the shovel. I haven't used many shovels here in the game but it's kind of cool when we actually get to and I'm doing all the Halloween obstacles because there's one every single year and it's just kind of exciting. We have the pumpkin, the scary pumpkin which we're gonna move. Drop it right over here with the skull. Boom! Done, and finally, we're gonna come over here with this cauldron, as I stutter over my words, and we're gonna drop it right in there. Perfection, that's what I'm talking about. Now that is OCD at its finest. Let's start with 2018, listen to the sound. Which is hat, 2017. Skull. Scary pumpkin for 2016 and 2015 
was the cauldron. This is actually a baby dragon skull, if you guys didn't know that. So there it is right there, guys. Those are the things that we're putting in order today. Now, what do we actually have left here as far as magic items go? We still have two shovels left, so we can move some other things. I'll tell you what, one thing I'm never getting rid of is my spike right there. Kind of love them. It's just kind of an event obstacle that we had when Brawl Stars dropped. And uh, well, I promised you guys I'd show you some farming stuff. So let me show you one. The first farm that I'm gonna be showing you guys is in light of the giant advantage event going on right now. You have to love all these events in the game, guys. New ways to get loot, new ways to progress through the game more quickly. I love what Clash of Clans is doing. I love this stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you're down with it as well. I like the look of this base, guys. The, the air defenses should be fairly easy to access. And uh, one of the Inferno Towers is down. We should be able to grab the loot out of this. It's not the most loot in the world, but it's a decent amount. Plus, the Town Hall is not going to attack me. We are going to be good to go. Actually, you know what? It's, uh, it's, it's not that. I'm not going in with Lalo. I'm going in with the Bowler Attack. Which is fine. We can still get this done. And we are going to get this done. We're going to start with the Queen Warrock right over here. Five healers on her. Uh, make that four. That black bomb just kind of took one out there. Queen's going to clean up all the skellies coming our way. There's more skellies coming our way. And we're going to go like this. We are going to help her out with a couple of giants. She's looking fine. We're going to go with a couple of giants here with a couple of bowlers behind. Just trying to establish a funnel. I'm going to actually set up a jump spell right there. Also... We're going to go with the rest of the Giants. We're going to go with the rest of the Bowlers. We're going to watch that Queen. She is... Oh, I got a popper ability. Wow, that was close. We're going here. We're going there. And we're sending in the Slammer right up the gut. They're going into the base right now, guys. Here's the Rage. Here's the Heal spell. Trying to keep everything alive as they engage with that multi-target Inferno. We're going to go with the two Bowlers over here. We're going to pop another Rage spell right in here. Pop the King's ability. And the heal spell. Balloons are coming out of the slammer. I didn't realize it was balloons that I had. We're going to go with the ability right there as everything pushes through the center of the base. Looks like this loot is going to be ours if things keep going as planned. Queen still walking around the base at full health. All abilities are used now. I do have a rage spell left. And I'm going to hang on to it in case I need it. Very well might. So we're going to actually drop it right here and allow those balloons to get raged up. And everyone is going to run through that rage spell helping things get cleaned up around the base even those healers unfortunately the healers can't heal up those balloons but the bowlers are getting the healing that they need Graham warden's looking fresh and uh we even have one balloon still alive still pushing on through gonna take out that cannon with its balloonness and that's happening right about there so you got to witness a live three star versus another town hall 12 although it was upgrading so again not fair still i got decent loot you guys will get to see the loot bonus in a moment and it was just some additional fun for the video because today's video guys was 100 percent about fun and here's going to be the 100 percent three star pulling in about 725,000 gold and uh three four five hundred twenty five thousand elixir and about 5,500 5, dark. And the last farming attack I want to show you guys for today is against the Town Hall 10. You got to love Town Hall 10s with loot. I mean, this is bullying at its finest. And the cool thing about this attack as well is I got to hold on to my Siege Machine. That Stone Slammer was not needed. I mean, this attack, guys, is not even fair. 12v10, you could basically just spam your troops in any war, send the Grand Warden, drop a few spells, and pull on the triple. And that's exactly what's going to go on here. You can see, guys, there's not really anything to shout because the whole base is getting torn apart by the balloons. So, guys, how often do you run into bases like this where it's just there's enough loot to say, okay, I can make that hit, but you also kind of feel a little bad because the guy that's that's you know getting hit is just is just taking a beating. But at the same time, they wanted to come up here in trophies. They know they're going to run into guys like me that are going to take complete advantage of them. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to grab the loot. And I mean, look at this. Did I even lose a troop in this attack? I don't know. I didn't actually watch, but I bet you it was close. I bet you it was close. I probably didn't lose many. Thank you guys so much for coming through. I appreciate each and every one of you every single time. If you subscribe, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And if you haven't, think about it. You may enjoy coming back tomorrow. Also, remember, you can find me over on Twitter, guys, at Echo Through Me. And all of my videos are sponsored, got it right here, by G Fuel. Save yourself 10% on all G Fuel products over at gfuel.com using code ECHO. Let's get in there, guys, and I'll see all of you back here again tomorrow. Until then, peace.